Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, The Cartoon Hotspot, and I'm back with another theory video. Today, I'll be talking about why and how Lady Noir's relationship will change in season four. As we know, season four has been so far so good, giving us some heartfelt moments. However, one thing the Miraculous Ladybug fandom have picked up on is how little to no screen time Cat Noir is getting. The question is, should it be a case for concern? Nope, not really. I strongly believe this is being done on purpose because it's building up to something huge. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts as to what's in store for Lady Noir, then don't go anywhere without giving this video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hopefully you'll be sticking around by subscribing and turning on that bell button for post notifications. Without further ado, let's begin. To understand where Ladybug and Cat Noir currently stand with each other, we first need to talk about their relationship development throughout the show. In season one, Ladybug and Cat Noir are pretty much partners. Cat Noir flirts with Ladybug on a daily basis, to which she finds pretty annoying. In season two, the relationship takes a big leap, with Cat Noir confessing his love to Ladybug and her gently rejecting him in the most wholesome way ever by telling him he's more than just a partner, he's a friend. They have their few ups and downs during the season, but by the end of it, we know it's truly them against the world. In season three, they're pretty much solid. Their relationship is only growing stronger. And whilst it did seem like Cat Noir was losing hope in his romantic pursuit, this hug says otherwise. And now season four. I mean, we all saw the ending scene in the episode Lies. It speaks for itself. However, what we didn't see coming is Ladybug revealing her identity to Alia. That was a bomb the writers dropped and we did not expect that at all, which was a big game changer seeing how much screen time Rena Rouge is getting and very little screen time for Cat Noir. So now that we've talked about Lady Noir's progression throughout the series, it's pretty obvious as to why they will have an argument. One of the reasons why Lady Noir is, probably for most people including myself, the OTP, one true pairing for season 4, is because their whole relationship is built on trust and genuine friendship. Before I continue with my point, I just want to say a little disclaimer that I am in no way discrediting the other Love Square ships. In fact, shipping wars are pretty silly. There is no ship in the Love Square that's the worst or the best simply because they are all the same people. Each ship in the Love Square has strengths and flaws that the other ships lack. Anyways, back to Lady Noir. Trust is the core of Lady Noir's relationship. The fact remains that Ladybug trusts Cat Noir wholeheartedly and Cat Noir trusts Ladybug with his life. They know themselves that despite having to lie and keep secret, at the end of the day, they can always trust each other because it will always be them against the world and it has always been them against the world. Communication has been a key message in season 4. It's almost as if this season is pointing out and trying to teach us that without communicating your feelings, without communicating to the people who genuinely care about you, a lot of relationships will break down. Let's rewind back to the episode Truth, just so you can understand my point. We all know Luca and Marinette broke up because the biggest reason was that Marinette had to keep disappearing to be Ladybug. However, the underlying reason, not the biggest, but still a reason why they broke up, is because neither of them were communicating with each other. Luca wasn't voicing his feelings. He clearly was bothered, but decided to just keep it to himself, expecting Marinette to eventually come to him with the truth. But the problem with that is, because Luca was so laid back, waiting for Marinette to talk to him, it made it seem like he really didn't mind. And so that probably sent a message to Marinette who thought, Luca doesn't mind, it's okay. Likewise, if Marinette had just straight up told him, there's a lot on my play, but I promise I'm not leaving you in the dark or anything, without going into specific details, Maybe, just maybe, Luca and Marinette would still be a couple. And I think Marinette understood that. Due to miscommunication, her and Luca broke up, and because of that same problem, she was super close to losing all her friends. She realised, I have to talk to someone, which is why she told Alia her identity. But at the same time, Marinette is making the same mistake with Cat Noir, and she doesn't even realise it. This is not to blame her or anything, because she is a teenager. They make mistakes and learn from them. But the same issue of miscommunication that led to her breakup with Luca is unfortunately a growing problem with her relationship with Cat Noir. And sadly, this one might be a bit messier. I'm going to refer back to the episode Truth again, since I've only now realised the major clues that were dropped. Remember when Ladybug asked Cat Noir what he thinks of her being the new guardian, and he responded, as long as it doesn't change anything between us, I'm all good. And guys, I don't know how I didn't pick up on this before, but I am now. We know nothing in Miraculous is a coincidence, and especially with season 4, the season is practically demanding us to pay very close attention. Well, 
That line wouldn't have been said if it didn't hold huge significance later on. Because as we can see, Ladybug's role as Guardian is getting in between them. But Cat Noir isn't saying anything, even though it clearly is bothering him. As we can see, he was pretty upset seeing as he missed all the action in Optogami. And he was especially frustrated in Sentibubbla. I mean, he basically destroyed a building out of anger. He knows Rena and Ladybug are getting closer. And lately, Ladybug has been depending on Rena like, a lot. And the problem is, Cat Noir should have spoken to Ladybug about this at the end of the episode but he chose to let it slide. I have a feeling all this pent up anger will eventually just explode and Lady Noir will have a huge argument. So how do I think the argument will play out? I think this will either happen in episode 22, the 100th episode of this series which the writers hinted would be a huge episode, or the finale. Somehow Cat Noir will find out Rena knows Ladybug's identity and he'll just go off on her. Something along the lines of, why are you leaving me in the dark again? Because it was understandable back in season 2 with Master Fu being there, and Ladybug couldn't exactly tell Cat Noir who Master Fu was, as she wasn't really instructed to. But now that she's the Guardian, she calls the shots, and it's pretty much them. Fu is gone, and so now more than ever, they need to have each other's backs. When Cat Noir flips out on Ladybug, I think she'll fire back saying how their identities must remain a secret, and how she was really overwhelmed that she had no choice but to tell Rena and whatnot. So both of them would be really angry, failing to understand where the other is coming from. Because Cat Noir would probably say, but I told you I'm always there for you, but you still refuse to let me in. And then this will hit Ladybug, but she's still very traumatised about Cat Blanc, and she can't exactly say why she's keeping secrets from him, which will make the argument all the more heated. I also want to talk about how Marinette's character flaw translates to the possible Lady Noir argument. You don't really pick up on this the first time, but after re-watching the show, you realise it's a consistent character flaw for Marinette. To put it to you, Marinette's biggest flaw is avoiding much needed conversations with the people she cares about, out of fear. Like Thomas Asterix said one time in a tweet, she has poor control over her emotions and thus often makes decisions with no logic whatsoever or makes rash and impulsive decisions solely based on emotions. She's afraid of hurting people, which is why she puts off certain conversations, but I also think subconsciously, she's afraid of hurting herself. We see this when she needed to tell Chloe she can no longer be Queen Bee. What did she do? Avoid the conversation, even though she knew she had to tell her. We see this when she's trying to confess her feelings to Adrian, even though she desperately wants to tell him, she just can't bring herself to do that, knowing that there's a possibility she could get rejected, and so she protects herself by avoiding the conversation. Now with Cat Noir, it's a little bit different since there's some sense of logic in this. She probably wants to tell him about Cat Blanc and needs to tell him. She probably wants to tell him about Rena knowing her identity, but she can't bring herself to. Her excuse, which is very much valid to be fair, is that if she does reveal her identity, it will lead to Cat Blanc and she knows it will hurt Cat Noir. She tells herself that, which is true, but it's also to cover up the fact that she can't handle it. So in other words, she's reassuring herself that by keeping this from him, his feelings will be protected. But what she doesn't want to admit is that she doesn't want her feelings hurt either. Of course, this is all going to blow up in her face and at some point she will have to have these tough conversations. But she'll get through it. She always does. Okay, shout outs for this video. Last theory video, I asked you guys to comment down who your favourite character is. And so here are the shout outs for those. Shout outs to Kelsey Stuprich, Belly, Ma Helen, Irene Haydar, Sophie Philip, Miraculous Fan, Dark Boy J, and Eterisha Wenz. And for next video, if you want to shout out, all you have to do is comment down what you think will happen at the end of season four. Do you think there'll be a reveal, a confession, Ladybug falling in love with Cat Noir? Cat Blanc returning, Princess Justice making an appearance, I don't know, share your crazy theories with me in the comment section. So as we can see, a lot is going to happen in this season. It almost feels like season 4 is a completely different show. Relationships will be tested and feelings will be hurt, and so much more. I for one cannot wait to see what happens to Lady Noir. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to give this a thumbs up and share this video. But now I want to put it to you guys, what do you think will happen to Lady Noir? Let me know down in the comments. As for today, that's it from me and I'll see you again next time. Bye!